The term election control of Congress is up for grabs and here in North Carolina, there are also several state and local races on the ballot. We have team coverage this afternoon as voters make their way to the polls. Our Victoria Lucas is live in Greensboro. We'll check in with her in just a moment. We begin first with our Jackie Pascal live at Salem Chapel in Winston Salem. Jackie, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Audrey. So it's been slow and steady here at Salem Chapel. They're up to nearly 200 votes at this hour, and there's still those lunch rushes expected, and of course, the post work crowd later on this evening. We also saw a pretty good crowd pre work this morning. We were over at Brunson Elementary School. I think we have some video to show you from there. Uh, now, that was uh, something that we've seen across North Carolina today. Voters were telling me that. This election can feel very polarizing, not because of any particular candidate, but because of the political climate in general. In fact, a poll watcher was actually sent here to Salem Chapel to make sure there weren't any issues because of how intense things got back in the 2020 election. But she says so far, no issues here at Salem Chapel. She was happy to report again, steady stream of voters here today. And that includes a 100 year old voter that I met here earlier. She did not want to go on camera, but she definitely thinks that voting is important. If you agree with her again, polls are open through 7. 30 tonight and I believe that my colleague Victoria is over in Guilford County checking on polls there as well. So Victoria has been going there. Hey, Jackie, it's been going well, and I just want to say, wow, an 100-year-old voter. That is so awesome. Still going strong. So, yes, I am here at the Mount Pixa United Methodist Church, the Welcome Center, where this is actually also Precinct, precinct G30. And here, there's been a steady flow of people coming in to cast their ballot. It's now a little bit slow now, but earlier this morning, within the first two and a half hours of polling sites opening, there were more than 100 people that already casted their ballots. You can see behind us there are, you know, poll workers still, you know, working and helping those people get their ballots and cast their votes. There are many seats up for grabs this election season from the local level of county sheriff and board of commissioners at large all the way to the federal level with one U.S. Senate seat on the table for our state. We had the chance to speak with the UNCG student who tells us voting during the election season is important, especially for those who are younger. Especially people my age, people I think it was 18 to 25 have the lowest voter turnout out of all the age groups. And it's really, really important because these people that we're electing are going to decide our futures. So polling sites across the triad are set to be opened until 7.30 this evening. So be sure to head to your assigned polling place when casting your ballot today. And you can head to our website, WXII12.com, with any questions related to Election Day. We're live in Guilford County today. I'm Victoria Lucas, WXII 12 News. Our thanks to Victoria and Jackie for those live reports. Now, one of the biggest races being watched tonight on the national stage is the U.S. Senate race between Democrat Jerry Beasley and Republican Ted Budd. It's one of a handful of races that will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. Polls have repeatedly shown the race is neck and neck. This morning, Budd cast his ballot at Farmington Baptist Church in Moxville, voting with his family. You know, it's been about 560 plus days and uh, it's been a long fight, but again, it's been certainly worth it, uh, especially when you see what's happened to our country in the last two years. We're ready to get Bud's opponent, Sherry Beasley, made campaign stops around Fayetteville this morning. Yesterday, she was out campaigning in Durham. Beasley previously voted early. Yesterday, she spoke about how she was feeling ahead of Election Day. This is really critical. So many folks here in North Carolina know what's on the line. They know that we've got to fight hard to lower prices and to make sure that we are putting North Carolina first. So I'm excited about where we are in this race. And of course, WXII 12 News will have crews at both the Sherry Beasley and Ted Budd campaign watch parties tonight. We'll have much more coverage on this race coming up in our evening newscasts. The Department of Justice is sending election monitors to 64 sites across two dozen states. North Carolina and Virginia are included in this list. They will monitor compliance with federal voting rights laws. Those monitors will include personnel from the DOJ's Civil Rights Division and from its U.S. Attorney's offices. This is a
practice to protect voters that traces back to the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Here's a closer look at the North Carolina counties where those election monitors are expected to be. You see the map on your screen. They include Alamance, Harnett, Mecklenburg and Wayne counties. And in Virginia, they will be in Prince William County and the cities of Manassas and Manassas Park. There is also a call in line for voters if they feel like they are experiencing discrimination at a polling place today. Meantime, we have you covered this election day as we wait for those results to roll in. We will start bringing those to you both on air and online. A reminder, you can download our free WXII 12 News mobile app to get those alerts sent straight to your device. We turn to our